Hello everyone, welcome back. Time for more Mass Effect. And we had a bunch of emails telling us to go to the Citadel and also to Seven Academy. So we will leave the Academy for now and we'll go to the Citadel. Commander. We don't have anything interesting. So let's just do a quick uh, save. Well, I think we did, but let's just double check to be sure. And let's head to the Citadel. Leave orbit. Uh, we don't need fuel. I don't think we do anyway. Anything here? Nothing. Um, let's see what's here. I got no idea. I found something. Oh. oh. There is stuff. Records. Fuel. Yes, please. Okay, we found something more. Let's go to Gemma. Banner of the First Regiment. Okay, I got no idea what that is. That's a big ass planet. La, 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 la. Reapers eluded. I'll be back. Me and Arnold. Do you want to buy fuel? Nah, it'll be cheap. See that I will probably have cheaper fuel. Let's go to the Citadel. Okay, so Diplomat's here. And there are a couple things to do here. Okay. Bryson's lab. I want you to match this against all known locations and update the map. Then contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard. We've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal. But is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we can just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Could have used your help three years ago. 
Yes. If people had paid attention to your warnings about the Reapers, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark. Cold. Like... I was someplace else. And then? I don't know! A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was... a loud... You shot Bryson. You killed him. No, I couldn't have! I'm not a murderer! I didn't do it, it wasn't me! You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with them. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. I see Bryson's point. Anything capable of bringing a Reaper down is worth finding. Despite the potential dangers it could pose, I would agree. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garneau appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not stay to destination. He's out there somewhere, and we need him. I'll do what I can. Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. That's an ugly face. Okay. Anything to loot? 
loot, nothing to loot here. Does this tell us where Garnon went? No, but we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. Is this Prothean? Yes. I believe Dr. Bryson and Liara would have had much to discuss. Can you add a search filter for locations known to have Prothean ruins or artifacts? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results on the Galaxy Map program. Prothean artifacts. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Maybe. These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes of this nature. Prothean artifacts. No Here's results. the time and date chart. Some of our crimes. search parameters may be irrelevant. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. I don't think that any of that is irrelevant. I think they all somehow closely combine. Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That date is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands... It won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart? What the hell does that mean? The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the log. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson. Sovereign. Hope they've got that thing shielded. Looks like data on the Rachni. March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the Rachni. Their movements during the Rachni Wars suggest alien influence. But the timing is wrong. And Rachni weren't implanted with Reaper tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rachni to fight the Reapers? What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. We saw a data pad containing data on Rachni movements earlier. It may be relevant. By Anne Bryson. Age 9. Records indicate Anne is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than family? An interesting hypothesis. But I detect no trace of the decryption key in this... art. Loch Ness Monster? Plesiosaur. Loch Ness Monster is more interesting. <laughs> interesting and non-existent. Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding the search filter now. Meteorite fragment, maybe? Meteorite sample. With traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, Element Zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with Element Zero? Adding it now. It sounds like a puzzle. 
We need to get all the right filters to get the information. Probably his daughter looks like the doctor. Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Well, take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right. Let's get back to the data pad we found earlier. Okay, progress. Decryption complete. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. And I'll bet Garneau used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? Doing so now. Okay, we've got a bunch of filters. Element zero deposits. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Maybe. Reaper activity? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Alien sightings. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Well, the blackouts are not relevant. The... Promethean activity I don't think is We relevant. have a match. Marking the galaxy map. Good. Let's go find Garneau. Okay. Let's find the velocity upgrade for gun for the SMG. This is the ultra light material. Okay. Let's go to Ooh. uh Purgatory Bar. We got someone to meet there, apparently. Hopefully this one doesn't die. Shit, they just kept coming and coming. 
Club, only one person dancing. Okay. Oh, James. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, <laughs> now, come on. I didn't mean anything by a Commander. Uh-huh. What'd you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah. They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few, and they're all dead. Sorry, Chef. Thought you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. Oh, now they're dancing. When we get back to Earth, I'm by. Damn it, morale is pitiful. The truth. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the 1st Regiment is waiting for you at Bay D24. The banner of. Commander Shepard, I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as oh. we take our homeworld back from these bastards. Okay. <laughs> the banner of the 1st Regiment. So when I find things. People will give me things in return. Interesting. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took CSEC three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, 
I kept the blood pack, blue suns, and eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. How are we gonna talk? Look who's here. So what's on your mind, Shepard? What's your angle on gaining control of the blood pack? Narl will explain it. If we're gonna work together, Shepard, you need to trust me. At least a little. How do we get the Blue Suns on our side? Their leader, Darner Vosk, is a twisted little criminal. I expected his demands to be unreasonable, but it turns out he's the biggest pushover of them all. Talk to him. I'll let you be the judge. Call me if you need to. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've already leaned on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One boy scout to another, chain of command and all that crap. Take him to dinner, talk dirty to him, whatever works. <laughs> <laughs> What's new with you? That's supposed to be funny? Let's see. I've lost Omega. I got C-Sec eyes all over me, and I'm holed up in this poor excuse for a nightclub. Can't even get an ovarian rum here. In other words, I'm in hell. How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. I'm gonna slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. We'll talk later. I'm sure. Of course we will. several can dance. Okay. I'm missing something. But what? Nothing else here, is there? No. It's only those four places. Okay, let's go back out. There are a lot of places to go to. Holding area. Areas tagged of interest to you are highlighted on the elevator menu. 
Let's go to One the moment, please. Let's see what's there. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired? I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired? The Alliance can use your help. There's plenty of non-combat roles. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter. Wow, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Oh, Dragon Age armor. <laughs> 50,000. Kanala yikes. Exports is pleased to offer goods for security and peace of mind. I do want Koshfis. Koshfis, yes. Uh, do I want any of that? Cultivating serenity is possible even during times of crisis. Yes, I do. At Kanala Thank you for shopping at we Kanala Exports. People are charging strong goods. <laughs> Refugees, basic services. It seems the Reapers took our culture. When they took now would be unwise. The book of I'm aware of what's happening. Offload them into the Modan cluster. Of course. And then I'd advise traveling someplace safer. And now, our okay. people have lost them. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Don't be left out in the cold. Ask about our full service warranties. Let's buy these. I don't want to buy Please an aquarium. Please visit any of our Elkos Combine affiliate branches for any and all personal needs. Okay. What's this? Not yet. I think I'm ready to end it with him. Things weren't great even before he deployed, and if I were him, we switched. Who cares about the money? I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares and walk fine. But I'm not selling financial VIs while my home world burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling these at cost plus 3%. Fine. How did we deal? Thinking of going? To Sanctuary, I mean. Sorry, I, I thought you were looking at the ad. I don't think I can do this anymore. I know what you mean. Talk to me, but you will. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. Practical. I like it. You can get started by talking to the Volus Barlavon in his office. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us.
Well, that Volos guy told me that. Uh, let's uh, stay away from this and uh, let's do business on this. Yes, yes. We've got to keep Jake in daycare. He should be socializing with other children. Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. Petrovsky. This is Russian. Or from that sort of... Oh, hi, Edie. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. <laughs> I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? <laughs> Still... You usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, asking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie. The important thing is to have a good time, wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Giving date, get dating advice to an AI. Nice. I have noticed many displays of public affection on the Citadel. The rate seems disproportionately high. Everybody could die tomorrow, Edie. Hooking up is one of the few things they can do. I wonder if this is how the Krogan feel. <laughs> Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Oh, a lot more upgrades. Okay. Proceeds from all purchases go to help our men and women serving in the Alliance. Let's buy all of that. For the best in the business, come to Casa. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither Welcome should you. to the Citadel gift shop. I'll... Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. Let's buy this. Shoot smart. Good Shoot. hunting, Nosostra. Hi, Joker. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. Eventually. <laughs> These people have no idea. Sometimes I think this whole Citadel is a mistake. What do you mean? It's out here in the middle of nowhere. Defensible. Safe. You can be damn sure nobody on Earth or Palavin is watching vids or playing Quasar. But up here, nobody has to get their hands dirty. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. I'm afraid I can't help you. <laughs> but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, 
It's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? I'm saying... That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Ooh. I've never seen Thank anyone. you for shopping at Agor... Welcome to Cipertine Armory. There's so much stuff to buy. At Cipertine Armory. And let's quickly see if there's anything else here. Hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be in peril if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help your family. Oh, sister. Extreme weather conditions may require technology that is Are you? What do mean? No. Did I check all of this section? I think I did. No, I did not. There's more. Hello? Quick! Hands behind your back. They'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the Greek commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. <laughs> not the best start to our friendship, Narl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and... Try to look like I beat you up or something. If this goes wrong, it's your ass. Quiet! <laughs> I have to look even more powerful than Crete thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this... <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes! I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. How works? Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Well, we got one of the crews. This is where we're gonna end today's episode. Thanks everyone for watching. Feel free to drop a comment, a like, let me know your thoughts, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye bye.